Alrighty. New version here. Let's go. No textures this time. Ooh. Comes in surprisingly fast here. And ooh, okay. I would say let's go. Let's go with the big one first. Actually, for this one. If you want, send me your Maya scene. Because I see some speed ups here. Let's go to the big one first. And I don't, it could be my playback, but I see something right there. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's a speed up. Uh, my software every now and then. I don't know. I see a slight hiccup there. Generally, it's okay, but I do see. Right there, right there is a an odd speed up. Right there, it's tiny, then it suddenly slows down a bit too much there. That's pretty nice. Nope, a bit of a change there. Definitely suddenly too fast there. But again, a bit of a speed bump there. And then too fast right down there. Yeah, see that? Yeah, for sure there. And then that drops, so. Little issues here and there. The heavy one. It's too fast of acceleration right there. Whoop! It feels like something is kicking it off the edge. Choo, boom. And then when it lands, it's not a massive distance, so it would hop and then get to somewhere there, but you have a sudden forward translate that's too far. It's basically on something like this, what it would be in your graph, you would have your your Y graph like this and then a translate be it x or z whatever you have there it would just be come to a stop for like a regular thing for something like that for instance right or it would translate forward hit the ground and then suddenly slow down a lot what's happening right now is when this lands and suddenly moves over is that it it, it kind of travels over and then suddenly faster into something like this this being heavy well it's a medium ball, but not sure it will go that far to the left. Not so bad. I think it rolls a bit far to the left. And then it's a bit late in that recovery. That's a bit definitely picky. The guy in the middle, and that is A is really fast. <laughs> That's like a, a cannonball, and it will go somewhere. You know what I mean? But we're having something where we're suddenly dropping too soon. So I would slow that guy down. So what's also happening is I see a, a, a quick, small section of a massive slowdown spacing wise. And you can track this if I go my crappily drawn spacing. Hold on, this is really crappy. I'm lazy. I'm actually not drawing this on my walker when I should. Whoa, you can see this here. You know what I mean? If you, if you have your spacing, it's something that's this fast. And it just hits the ground. Yes, it would slow down a little bit, but not by this much. Look at this. See this? This difference right there. But that's too strong. There's a little bit of a hiccup right there. This, we suddenly get, get up a bit too fast and then drop it a bit too quickly and it's slowing down this way as well. Yeah, right there is odd. The rest is okay. So little things here and there. But at the same time, I think it will be it will be easier for you to visualize this if you send me your Maya scene. And I, I can treat this as the same submission. I'm not going to charge you for that extra thing. And then I'll show you, I, I can record it. I'll show you what the graphic looks like and what it would be cleaner to avoid those hiccups, if that makes sense. But sometimes I feel like I can talk about it. I can do like, you know, my, my sloppy sketches and stuff, but it wouldn't be as clear. Because I think right now your little hiccups, they're sometimes subtle, sometimes a bit bigger. But I think it will be just, I think you will connect more if you see the difference, like the before and after in the graph. So I would say, send me that scene with all the references or however you have it imported. Uh, and I'll do like a, a part, part two. Alrighty, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.